You guys know there's never a dull moment in the life of Jaguar. Jaguar got a call from Didi. I call her Jailhouse Bay. Why? Because I think that's a nice name for her. It just rolls off my tongue, and it's what I like to call her. You know, everybody got a little pet name. Well, Jailhouse Bay is hers. Jailhouse Bay sounds like a dude. I keep saying that. I don't know what kind of testosterone she might have taken, but honey, that voice sounds so deep. So Jaguar apparently is on the live with TJ, and she got a call from Jailhouse Bay, and she immediately got off the live. Now TJ is seething. She is upset. And I'm saying, girl, you shouldn't be upset. You should have had your bags packed a long time ago because Jaguar keep telling you to be gone, get the hell out. I don't want you no more. Hit the door. But TJ's hanging in there, honey. She hanging in there like a soldier, okay? She hanging in there. That's what you get for hanging in there. The woman don't want you. Jaguar don't want you. She started you, and she's about to cheat, allegedly, because that's her pattern. If she don't want you and she's tired of you and you refuse to go, honey, she going to make you go by doing something drastic. So Jaguar receives this call from Jailhouse Bay. They're talking. Jaguar picked up the phone to tell Jailhouse Bay she can't talk. Now, what kind of crap is that? You do not pick up the phone to tell somebody you can't talk. You just don't pick up the phone, period. What's your phone so that's the voice of Jailhouse Bay. Doesn't she sound like a man? Drop it in the comment section, guys. Tell me if this woman sounds like a man. This Jailhouse Bay. She want to know why you didn't pick up the phone. I said, damn. She is like the man in this relationship. Now, Jailhouse Bay know Jaguar is living with somebody else, but she don't respect that because Jaguar is not giving her any signs that she even respect the relationship with her and TJ, or else she wouldn't be entertaining her, period. She would say, listen, don't call me no more. I got a man, well, a woman in my life. Don't call me no more. So Jaguar is busy entertaining Jailhouse Bay. And I always get upset when TJ talks to Naisha. Now, is that fair, folks? That's not fair. That's telling TJ who she sh should and should not talk to, while Jaguar... Don't see nothing wrong in her talking to Jailhouse Bay. TJ shouldn't be upset. She should understand. Now, Jaguar and Jailhouse Bay don't have a kid together. They don't have a life together. Hell, they never even touched, okay, shared a kiss. they just been romantic through the bars, okay? So, no, Jaguar is not being fair. But then again, we talking about Jaguar, okay? She does not play fair, that, from what I see. She played dirty. I'm, I'm online. I'm working right now. I'm, I'm online. I'm working right now. Yeah, I'm online. I'm on YouTube right now. What's up? I go to court in September, too. I'm going to pray for you. So Jailhouse Bay call to update Jaguar that she have a court date in September. Well, I guess everybody's going to court in September. Jaguar going to court in September too. And all them YouTubers who are vested in this Jaguar situation said they're going to show up in court too. Everybody going to court in September. But Jailhouse Bay called Jaguar to let her know. And if Jaguar is not still involved emotionally with Jailhouse Bay, can you all tell me why she picked up that call? Knowing that TJ is right beside her, knowing that TJ is going to get jealous, knowing that TJ is listening, tells me she don't give a damn about TJ's feelings. And I hope TJ learned her lesson and gets to packing. How many times is Jaguar going to tell TJ to be gone? Go. But she got to show you that she means business? I'm telling you, TJ got a lot of bunning to do. Jaguar is going to bun her so much, she's going to look like charcoal. When I say bunning, folks, I mean 
in the South in South America, people say when they get bun means they get cheated on. So in this case, when I say TJ got a lot of bun in to get, it simply means that Jaguar is going to cheat on her multiple times if she stays in that relationship because clearly Jaguar does not respect TJ's opinion and let alone her feelings. She does not give a damn about TJ. That's in my humble opinion. That's what I see. I pray it all goes well. I really can't talk right now, Dee Dee. It is disrespectful. Disrespectful is... So, TJ was heating up. She says it's disrespectful as F. The F-bomb. Of course, I couldn't, you know, I had to cut that out for YouTube purposes because they don't like all this swearing in the videos. And I cut it out, but you guys get the gist. She said it's disrespectful as F, the F-bomb. And yes, it is disrespectful. If this person claimed to be your forever and ever, and you're supposed to live into old age with this person, they committed to you, you committed to them, and then they're entertaining someone in their past who they had a connection with. Now, granted, Jaguar said they did not have any intimacy, no physical contact, but emotional binds are still there. Jaguar is refusing to let go. She's refusing to cut this relationship, which tells me she's still emotionally tied to this woman. Jailhouse Bay. So I don't blame TJ for being upset. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you, if if I was in TJ's shoe, to tell you the truth, my bags would have been packed. But guys, drop it in the comment section. Why you think TJ don't want to go? Jaguar don't want her no more. Jaguar, told, she's told her that plenty of times. She said, get to step in. Don't let the door hit you. You know, she told her all kinds of stuff. I'm paraphrasing, of course. But my point is, why does she not want to go? When her check comes in, she just got to take that check and go rent a, a hotel room somewhere. She don't have to be with Jaguar and put up with all this stuff. But it looks like if she has lost all her good sense, good common sense, what has happened to the TJ that I thought would stand up to Jaguar? I thought she had some type of backbone, honey. I thought she was going to beat that gorilla chest, push that chest out and said to Jaguar, you can't push me over, honey. Here I am and here I will stay and just man up to her because she, I think she addresses herself as a man. So she needs to start manning up. Hell, I can man up to Jaguar better than TJ can and I'm a female. I'm a female throughout. No, TJ is supposed to be a, a lesbian stud. Isn't she supposed to be a stud? I thought she was a stud in the relationship. She letting this Jaguar chick push her around like that? TJ, you letting them lesbian studs look bad. You giving lesbian studs a bad name, girl. Lesbian studs can't even push their heads up anymore the way you acting. You acting like a bitch. That's what you acting like. You, you, you better man up. If you don't know how to man up, I'll show you how to man up. I'm a female, but I can show you how to man up. Seems to me like if TJ needs man up lessons 101, she needs to go back to the school of man up and take a few courses in manning up because she ain't got no type of aggression in her bone. Now, ladies, if you're at home with your man, side by side, you're looking at a TV program, his old girlfriend calls, old girlfriend who you don't like. She calls and he picks up that phone. What would you do? What would you all do? Knock him over the head or cuss and fight or grab the phone from him and toss it or do something. You got to do something. You can't let him get away with that. But here is TJ. That's very disrespectful. That's very disrespectful. No, honey. You saying it's disrespectful is not keeping Jaguar from talking to Jailhouse Bay. What you should have done is grab that goddamn phone and throw it. Any female can teach you how to man up because females, they man up all the time. Black females can man up. But I don't know what happened to DJ. She claims to be the stud, but child, she more female than anything. It's just real disrespectful. Uh -huh. That's my girlfriend. 
she's upset. She's upset about you. No, I ain't upset about you, Didi. I understand about you. I'm upset about Jag and how she handling things. I rather she be real and honest about it. So Jaguar is all. She's so messy. She says. Oh, she's upset. That's my girlfriend. She's upset about you, Didi. I said the B word. Jaguar, that was just not right. You trying to incite something between Didi and TJ for Didi to start cussing TJ out. And they start to have beef. So right away, TJ shut it down. She said, I ain't upset about you, Didi. I'm upset with Jaguar the way she's handling things, which is absolutely correct. And that's that is a lesson for everybody whose spouse is cheating. Whether you're cheating physically or you're cheating emotionally, it's still cheating. If you your spouse is cheating on you, you don't get upset with the person they're cheating with. You get, you get upset with your spouse or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or a male friend, whatever you want to call that individual. That's who you get upset with. So this is a lesson for everybody. TJ got upset with the right person, Jaguar, because Jaguar is the one who's entertaining this nonsense. There's a maturity about TJ that I like, although I don't condone her choices for leaving her daughter behind and running off to be with Jaguar in a homeless situation. I think she's still more mature than Jaguar. We're alive. In the middle of a lie, she answered the phone for you, and she's still not being Because she hung up on me early in the day, and I didn't want to just not home. take the call because we still got things to discuss. Can you call me um, later because we still got stuff to discuss? But I'm live right now. I can't talk. You need to call me tomorrow. We need to talk. Well, guys, you all have the same question I have. Call her. We need to talk about what. What do Jaguar want Jailhouse Bay to call and talk about? The woman is in jail. Jaguar is refusing to let go. She still is attached to Jailhouse Bay emotionally. It's like a relationship that never happened that she wished had happened. So she's still holding out. I have a feeling she wants TJ out so she can continue that relationship with Jailhouse Bay. That's my take on this whole thing. Now we need to talk about you and your little girlfriend. See, we all said it together. What? <laughs> Jaguar still is in love with Jailhouse Bay. What does that have to do with Jaguar? who the Kansas is seeing and dating and involved with while she is there in the prison system. It had nothing to do with Jaguar. Jaguar keeps calling the prison, checking up and calling these other prisoners to check up on the Kansas. They're giving her information. She getting jealous. She calling the Kansas and saying, Oh, I heard you got a new girlfriend. Oh, what? Who does that when they're supposed to be in a committed relationship? What TJ and Jaguar have is not a relationship. They are just dependent on each other to pay bills and to just hang out and do content creating on YouTube. So it's really not a committed relationship like a typical couple would have. They're in it to make money. But apparently that emotional tie is not there. Jaguar is looking for something else. And now she's looking at the Kansas jailhouse bay. Well, TJ, you didn't listen to me. I told you two videos ago that when Jaguar gets good and tired of you, she's going to cheat on you to push you out of the picture. That's her. That's how she usually operates. She gets tired of you. She can bring in somebody else just to make you jealous if you don't want to go. You're going to go eventually when she cheats on you enough. So you better, if you want to save face and save your pride and all of that, you better start packing your bags, girl. I done told you. You didn't want to listen. Now look what has happened. Look what has happened. You have her disrespecting you with Jailhouse Bay. No, we need to talk about you and your little girlfriend. Now we need to talk. Can you call me tomorrow? We need to talk. Can you call me later? Because we still got things to discuss. Can you call me tomorrow? We need to talk. Can you call me later? Because we still got things to discuss. Can 
that you ain't that your love? Ain't that the bitch putting money on your books and shit? I said, oh, Jaguar. Girl, you emotional. You showing some love for Jailhouse Bay. You cussing even. Ma, ma, ma. Oh, I gotta go, G. Bye. Bye. Now, guys, what kind of conversation you think Jaguar and TJ is gonna have tonight? You guessed it. It's gonna be a long night, okay? And do y'all think Jaguar cares? No. She don't give a damn. So, TJ, guard your heart, honey. And, guys, this is a lesson to you all out there who is in love with someone who don't love you back or you love them more. You have to guard your heart. Give 99% if you're not married. When you get married, you give 100%. But always hold back that 1% to safeguard your heart from being broken. Now, if you get married to the person that's different, then you can go in. You jump in all the way, give 100%. Come what may. If it works out, fine. If it doesn't, that's all right, too. There's other fishes in the sea. But as long as you're dating, be very, very guarded with your heart. Now, here's a little quote from Marcus Garvey. If you haven't confidence in self, you are twice defeated in the race of life. With confidence, you have won even before you have started. Intelligence rules the world. Ignorance carries a burden. The pen is mightier than the sword. But the town is mightier than them both put together. So on that note, I'm over and out. Don't forget to hit the like bell before you leave the page. And if you have not subscribed to the channel as yet, please do so at this time. I'm going to see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.